long have these existed? Because I found them like at the end of last year and I didn't know they existed and I have to try them. I have to try them. And today we're gonna do just that. We're not just gonna try them though. We are gonna dress them up after we try them because why not? Why not be extra? And I don't, I feel like they might not be good. I don't know. I feel like they might not be like amazing and just be really, really salty. So I thought it would be fun to do some more recipes with the flavors <laughs> and murder our taste buds with this flaming Hot right there. So basically I found Cheetos mac and cheese in like a Walmart and I had to buy all of the flavors that I saw. We have regular jalapeno cheddar and flaming Hot of course. This one sounds like it's gonna be really, really good. I'm actually excited to try this one. And then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dress these up into like classic mac and cheese recipes with, with a Cheetos twist. <laughs> I have some water boiling right now. And luckily I troubleshot before I started filming this video because I was going to boil each package individually. But we're gonna put all three of those in there and just divide them up with a spoon because we're problem solvers on this channel. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the water now and I will be back with some cooked noodles. It says to cook the noodles for seven minutes. I'm, got, I'm following the recipe. I just, I just throw, especially with pasta, I don't ever follow the recipes. Um, so we're gonna cook it for seven minutes. This one calls for some butter and milk once it's cooked like your classic box mac and cheese. So we are gonna do that. And I don't really know why I wanted to tell you that, but you can read the box if you buy this. We have our pot of cooked macaroni. This actually, oh goodness, <laughs> yielded more than I thought. So we'll have like some good dishes of mac and cheese here. All right, we're gonna dig this up into the three bowls and I'm gonna mix in the milk and the butter all in here. And then we'll individually stir in the sauce packets Again, useless information because I'm just gonna do it anyway. <laughs> butter. All right, so this calls for two tablespoons of butter per box. That's six tablespoons of butter. It's kind of a lot, but screw it. <laughs> uh, this is like four tablespoons. This was left in my butter dish, so we're gonna go ahead and just put four in. And I think that's plenty. And a quarter cup of milk for each one. So I have three quarters cup of milk here. Three quarters cup of milk. That's what I sound like. Go ahead and mix that together. We have plenty of good noodle sounds in this video. And I will spare your ears and not do this close to the camera, but I really want to, so I might have to at least once. Imagine if the noodles were in the shape of a Cheeto. <laughs> I mean, I guess they'd be, you could do like a large, large elbow, and it would look like a Cheeto, and that would be hilarious. It's just spiral pasta. Can you cool it, jalapeno cheddar? Cool it, buddy. All right, we'll move these little guys over here. I'm gonna divvy this up nice and evenly. This is gonna be really tedious, but it's all right. One. One. Still better than cooking three boxes of pasta individually. <laughs> and you can have the rest. All right, I tried to zoom you in a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and mix in the, the sauce packets. This I'm going to sit. This is regular Cheetos mac and cheese. Oh my God. This is unnatural. This is why, this is why I had to buy this. Can you see the color of this? I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look in the monitor. There we go. Look at that. Look at that, that is nuclear orange. Nuclear. This is not good for your body. Also, I did my makeup to match the Cheetos. Should I put the Cheeto dust on my eyes? Definitely not, don't do that. Especially flaming Hot Cheeto dust. Don't freaking do that. Oh my 
Oh, oh it's, wow. It smells like somebody put a bunch of Cheetos in a blender and that's the sauce, which I guess is great. I don't, I don't know why I wasn't expecting it, but I wasn't and I need scissors, but I wasn't expecting it to, I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to. I'm excited. Oh, this one's nuclear as well. Cool. Jalapeno. I'm expecting this to be fire engine red. Oh yeah. Oh my god. These look like pigments for like a paint or there we go. It's not like bright in the thing, but I'll show you in the the noodles. It looks like a pigment for fucking mixing <laughs> for me, mixing paint. Like hair dye. My hair was that color once. I was once a once a flame and hot cheetah. Alright, I'm gonna put these like close before I mix them in because it's just absolutely ridiculous like what these look like. Like, are you kidding? I am excited. I am excited about this. My stomach is not excited about this, but I'm excited about it. <laughs> All right, let's just start with the basic. It smells like jams. This is so weird. This is so weird. Uh, it's just, it is going to be really salty, I can tell you that. But that's all they freaking did. <laughs> just put a bunch of Cheetos in a blender and put it in a packet. Alright, jalapeno. Jalapeno one smells really good. This was the theory of the best tasting one, I think. This one too, I think, has the most fun, like, alternate recipe that we're gonna do with them. But I'm not gonna tell you just yet. First, we need to try these. Flaming Hot Cheetos time. This looks gross. This looks like blood, and I don't like it. I don't wanna eat this one. <laughs> it looks like blood. Well, if they keep this around, I guess you could use this as a fun Halloween dish. Bloody mac and cheese. Put little eyeball meatballs in there. Sold. Put the color of my sweater. Looks like blood. Look at that, the bloody noodles. Nudes. Bloody nudes. We're gonna go ahead and give these a taste. <laughs> uh, dokie, I'm so excited. All right, we are starting with. Let's, let's even go. Let's go all out. Original Cheetos mac and cheese. Taste test number one. I know I'm kind of far away. But this is what it looks like. It's not too salty. It tastes like melted Cheetos on noodles. And I don't hate it. I'm not mad about it. I am not mad about it. All right, you get one more bite. I'm impressed. I am impressed. We now have jalapeno cheddar, Cheetos mac and cheese. Cheesy jalapeno. The amount of real cheese that is in Cheetos, the world may never know. All right. Do they make jalapeno Cheetos? I don't think they do they. If they have, I've never had them and I would eat them. Same deal, a little far away being a little lazy, that's okay. We are growing on this channel, we are trying. Has a little green flex in there, obviously, for the jalapeno. And here we go. Ooh, 
No spicier than I thought it would be. It's delicious. It's, yeah, that's delicious. I would eat this like normally. It like has less of the Cheetos flavor. It's still very cheesy. This one's saltier too. It still tastes like Cheetos, but like less powerful than the first one. And you can definitely taste the jalapeno. It's bomb. It's way spicier than I thought, but it's not that spicy. I do like spicy foods, but I'm like super not looking forward to this other one. But it's time. Clean spoon. It's like blinding. Flame hot. Cheetos mac and cheese. Cult classic. Had to do it to them. If you know, you know. We already got a close up of this. I'm gonna take a, no, I'll take a big bite. I'm gonna be a baby. It's like blood on the napkin. Ooh. It's spicy. It's spicy, but it doesn't. It doesn't really taste like anything. And I'm not biased because it looks like blood. Well, it's definitely got the spiciness of a flaming hot Cheeto, but less of the Cheeto flavor, I think. I'm gonna try a little more. Yeah, no, I'm not getting the Cheeto flavor. Mm -mm. Ha! You lose bloody Cheetos. I do like this box though. It's very like car commercial with the <laughs> red and the black and the flames. All right, unimpressed with the flaming hot. If I had to choose, last place for sure. This man, I think these are both equally good. I'm not gonna rank them. I like the regular one, and I like the jalapeno one the best. Flamin' Hot Cheetos one, wouldn't recommend. Just eat a Flamin' Hot Bag of Cheetos. I'm also just noticing as I'm looking at this, the calories. <laughs> I'm not gonna say them because like, that's a whole video in and of, oh my God, no, no. But each one, has 10 less calories than the last in order of the way we made them. So like the cheddar one or the regular one has like X amount and then jalapeno has X minus 10 and then this one has X minus 10, which I think is really weird because it's the same amount. Oh, wait a minute. It's not the same amount in each box. This is 5.9 ounces, 5.7, 5.6. Ten less calories per point two or one ounce. That's so weird. This is why I have a cooking channel. This is why I'm expanding on this because I find this stuff interesting and somebody out there is gonna find this interesting. <laughs> and I don't have to text my friends and be like, hey, don't you know that all of these Cheetos have like ten less calories than the last one because there's less pasta in them? Like, no shit, that's math. But alright, we're gonna continue on and I will do the reveal of what our next step is going to be. So this is part one of the Cheetos video. Part two is gonna be in the same video, but what I'm gonna do with each bowl of mac and cheese is doctor it up in like a traditional mac and cheese recipe. So we're gonna start with the regular like cheesy mac and cheese. And I feel like a classic macaroni dish is like a baked macaroni with your breadcrumbs on top. So we're gonna do Cheetos baked mac and cheese I'm gonna throw some broccoli in here and we're gonna do some breadcrumb topping. We're gonna throw it in the oven. I might even break out the blowtorch and we'll just like crisp up those breadcrumbs on top and do a classic mac and cheese. I don't think I'm gonna add any more cheese to this, but I might. I might add some cheddar cheese to this. We're gonna doctor these up. For number two, this one is like what I'm most excited about. It's gonna take a little bit longer. I was thinking about doing either like not like jalapeno poppers, but something similar. Kind of like the 
like the fried mac and cheese balls that you get. There we go. Like fried mac and cheese balls that you would get. I might bake them or pan fry them because I'm lazy and don't feel like deep frying them. But we're gonna do jalapeno mac and cheese balls. I'll probably mix in a little bit of cream cheese and I have some like uh, jalapeno in the fridge. So I think we'll add a little bit of that and we'll pan fry them or bake them and make some delicious breaded mac and cheese balls. And for the last one, my least, my least favorite, my least favorite thing. I wanna turn this up a notch and we're gonna make this super spicy. I was thinking of a classic like buffalo mac and cheese, but I think it would be stupid and fun to put like a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of every hot sauce in my fridge and some chicken extreme buffalo chicken flaming hot chicken mac and cheese cheetos mac and cheeto cheese flaming hot chicken mac and cheeto cheese boom with whatever we have in the fridge for spice and then i'm gonna regret that but it's funny all right let's get started <laughs> all right so for our first mac and cheese we're doing a classic mac and cheese with cheetos i'm just gonna use a small little dish because there's nobody else here to share this with me <laughs> um but we have like a little baking dish i'm gonna go ahead and mix some broccoli in there not all of this um a little bit of extra cheddar and i have some yummy breadcrumbs here just to top it all off with and that's it and we're gonna throw it in the oven probably for like maybe 10 minutes yeah oh you know what I take some of this out. This bowl's too small. So, let's take some of it out. Doing the dishes for this video is gonna be so fun. Do a little, little quarter cup of cheese there. Oh yeah, wait. A little black pep in here too. Some people put like mustard in their mac and cheese, but I think that it's not that like wouldn't taste good with Cheetos cheese. So we're not gonna do that. And then a little bit of broccoli. So healthy. Dish is officially healthy now. I feel like a child. I'm having so much fun with this. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I like making these videos, like nobody has seen them yet and I like don't tell people in my real life about them, but if anyone ever finds them, I'm having a good time. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put this in the baking dish. Hell yeah! Alright, sprinkle some breadcrumbs on top of this. <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. Everything's fine. Just use your spoon. That's all you gotta do. Just move it along. That's how I like to spread my breadcrumbs. You just pour a pile on top and hope it works out. I do love breadcrumbs on mac and cheese though, so I'm not super mad about this incident. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at our little, little guy. I'm down to come over to you. There we go, right here. Find the sweet spot. We're gonna bake this in the oven for like 10 minutes and see how our gourmet Cheetos mac and cheese comes out. Yep, follow the Cheetos mac and cheese to the oven. There we go. Let me go ahead. All right, see you in a bit, little one. Okay, so for the flaming hot Cheetos, we are going to put every hot sauce that is open in my fridge and this chicken. We're gonna mix it in the chicken and we're gonna put it in to the flaming hot Cheetos. I even have a Burger King buffalo sauce to put in there. I am dreading this with every fiber of my being, but None of these are like too, too spicy. This one, what's this one? No, that one's not spicy. This one was a spicy one? Yeah, this one's supposed to be super hot. I haven't tried it yet. It was a gift. 
I don't even know what's in it. Just says super hot. All right. So let's start with this. This is just like green salsa, but it's really spicy. It's really tasty too. So we're gonna put, all right, this is a half a tablespoon. It's like a teaspoon. I'm gonna try to be like kind of daring and we'll go for it. We can go for it. One. We've got regular Tabasco sauce, which I like. little jiggle of this. One jiggle of Tabasco. This is spicy yellow hot sauce. That's probably like a mustard. Do this. I guess we'll do just, we'll just jiggle it on. Try to jiggle it in the spoon so I've got like a, you know, consistent amount, like a teaspoon of it. Hate everything. This is the same brand. This is just green hot sauce, so like a jalapeno hot sauce, which I love. I like this one. This will probably have a pretty strong, this is probably all good for the jalapeno one. Every, all of this has like a strong jalapeno flavor. Most of them do, but we've got some, um, we've got some ones that are going to throw a wrench into this. This I have no idea. It smells spicy. I bet this is habanero. I don't like habanero peppers. And I don't like the smell of this. Oh no, it's not. It is scorpion chili pepper. Great, I've never heard of that. Fun. dreading this more and more as we move along. This is a barbecue like marinade thing, sweet black pepper. It's really good, but it's also spicy. It's deceivingly spicy. Teaspoon of that. See, I feel like this doesn't go with that. That is our baked cheddar mac and cheese. Let me go check on that. It'll leave it a little bit longer to brown up those breadcrumbs. I'm just delaying the inevitable by talking and doing other things. This one also doesn't go with any of these. This is a uh, dill pickle hot sauce that I got in Savannah, Georgia. It's delicious. <laughs> I love pickles, more on that later. Teaspoon of that. This isn't particularly hot, but I don't really want dill in flaming hot Cheetos. But that's what we're gonna do. This is just chili garlic sauce. It's basically what sriracha is but it's um, like a sauce and a paste and it's so good. I use this all the time, has a good kick. Teaspoon, ish. And last but not least, let's add to some more like, let's add some more like nuclear orange. This is just buffalo sauce. And if I was being a baby, I would've just made buffalo flaming hot mac and cheese, but we're not. Okay, we've got all our hot sauces in our like cut up chicken. I'm gonna mix it up. It looks disgusting. <laughs> I shouldn't have used all of this chicken because now I'm gonna waste some chicken. <laughs> if I can find a way to make this digestible, I will later to finish it, but I don't think it's going to be. Smells? It smells like barbecue, honestly. That doesn't smell terrible. I kinda wanna try that. Should I try the chicken before we put it in the in the Cheetos? <laughs> Gotta do it. It's not that bad. Just kidding, there it is. 
It's not that bad. It's actually not that spicy. <laughs> I don't know if I should add more. I was proud of myself. I'm actually quite proud of myself. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna add some more. To our flaming Hot Cheetos mac and cheese. And we've got every hot sauce in my fridge, flaming Hot Cheetos mac and cheese. I don't remember what we called this. Flaming Hot Chicken Cheetos mac and cheese. That's what it is. Flaming Hot Chicken Cheetos mac and cheese. Say that five times fast. Nothing about this is good for your insides. Nothing at all. I should have got like a, a hot pepper to put into this, but I didn't think that far ahead. Let's do this. Let's top it off with like the scorpion sauce, okay? Won't be too easy on myself. All right. Throw this in the oven. All right, we have, in the meantime, our baked mac and cheese. Don't do this, ready? Here we go. Don't do that, don't touch my dishes. Ooh, or walk with them towards your camera. Let this cool off. Last but not least, we're gonna get started on our fried jalapeno mac and cheese balls with our jalapeno cheetos mac and cheese i didn't think it would be so hard to talk in this in this video <laughs> oh for our jalapeno mac and cheese balls it's um every recipe that i'm seeing is like recommending to refrigerate your mac and cheese that's why this one's gonna take a little bit longer but until it's like nice and firm so you can <laughs> scoop it into balls and roll it so I'm gonna refrigerate this and then we will be back to make those. In the meantime, I'm gonna kick these up a notch and I'm gonna add, I have pickled jalapeno slices. I'm gonna add those in here. And I think I am gonna put some cream cheese cause this is gonna make this pretty spicy. These jalapenos are pretty spicy. And I'm gonna mix in a little bit of cream cheese. We'll refrigerate that and then we'll be back to make our mac and cheese balls. There I go again, pointing at the camera with sharp objects. Next time I set up a shot like this, I promise to move everybody closer to the table, but it was hard. Rude. It was hard to get myself and all of the stuff going on. But anyway, we have our baked mac and cheese with broccoli, because we're healthy and our <laughs> flame and hot chicken cheetos mac and cheese to try i also have the jalapeno mac and cheese all chilled and ready to go so we can start our jalapeno balls after this but i'm gonna give a little taste test to these two first and see how they came out there's my trusty spoon use the same spoon this whole time all right we are gonna go with the not flaming hot one first. I'm over here. <laughs> Have a bite of it at the end of the table. Piece of broccoli, some breadcrumbs, and a big bite. This tastes good. I'm not gonna lie. This tastes just like an ultra cheddar mac and cheese, dressed up a little bit. And it's fun. And it's full, it's like fluorescent orange. And it's pretty good. I am not mad about this. This is the beauty of the internet. You can make gourmet Cheetos mac and cheese for yourself and anybody else that wants to look at that. But now, We're gonna try the flaming Hot Chicken Cheetos Mac and Cheese. Getting better at it. I'm getting better at it. You get a piece of chicken. 
And I did top it with more of the scorpion sauce. Here we go. Mm. It's spicy. <laughs> the combination of all those sauces like isn't bad. It it tastes like barbecue chili, like a barbecue chili sauce. It's hot. It's definitely hot, but it brings some flavor to the stupid flame and hot Cheetos mac and cheese because it didn't have any flavor. It just had fluorescent color that's gonna dye my tongue. Whew, I'll take one more. I'll have to jump in on some more spicy noodle challenges because I feel like I've conquered this one pretty well. I took some fun pictures with all the hot sauces. <laughs> all right, we're gonna move on. We are gonna move on to the last and final bit of this video. Okay, so this video is getting super long. I debated on making it two parts, but I'm not going to. So I'm just time-lapsing through making the macaroni and cheese balls here. So what you see is uh, me talking to you. So everything you worked for is now over. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm forming these into little balls. That's the macaroni and cheese. I mixed in cream cheese and jalapenos as well. Um, I had a lot of trouble with this. Like it wasn't sticky enough. And I think I end up adding like more eggs in there and then probably a little bit of flour to hold these together. Um, and then basically I'm dick, dick, him. <laughs> I am dipping them in an egg wash followed by just some Italian breadcrumbs over there. Um, I think, yes, this is my thought process. Anyway, this made six like giant macaroni and cheese balls and that's what I'm doing over the course of the next like however many seconds and then you will see the raw result and the final result to follow. Let me show you what we have. They're not the prettiest, I'm not gonna lie. But they're staying together. So we're gonna try one. I'm very excited. <laughs> you can pick them up, they're like whole. Like check it out, it stays together. I'm proud of myself for that. Give a little cut. We got a nice little jalapeno on top there. Uh, yeah, it just kind of breaks down, but you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, hello, sun. Got some new lighting, I'm sure. This is actually taking me quite some time. I like it. I'm proud. The cream cheese was a good addition. These definitely probably would have been better fried, but with the spiral pasta, I think they would have fallen apart. And they'll be good with a little dipping sauce. But they stay together. And that's what I didn't think was gonna happen. So I'm happy. I'm pooped. This is the most extensive video I think I've filmed since. Yeah, this is the most extensive video I think I've filmed so far. It was a lot of fun. I'm full. I have plenty of leftover, cheesy leftovers for the rest of the week, and maybe I can get somebody else to try some of these, but I am satisfied. Here we have our cheesy jalapeno mac and cheese Cheeto balls. We had the flaming Hot Chicken Cheetos Macaroni and Cheese, and we had your regular baked Cheetos mac and cheese. I had so much fun doing this. I just remember walking through a Walmart and I think, I don't know, I think I had maybe started the channel already or I was like gung-ho about it and I went, well yeah, I guess I started it like way before, but whatever. Um, this was a big factor in being like, I want to make YouTube videos. So I have an excuse to just like do this and have a lot of fun with it and have the time and the patience to 
try like this sort of thing. Like I would have just try them, but this was way more fun. <laughs> so to anybody who's seeing this and you know, like I said, I'm not promoting anything yet. So to nobody who's seeing this, I hope you had a good time because I certainly did. If you find these in your local grocery store or your Walmart, give them a try. They're pretty good. Um, except this one. This one's nothing to write home about. Just eat your Flaming Hot Cheetos instead. Yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my Sunday. <laughs> Bye.